Hey guys, welcome to another Chris Cards How To video. And if you follow my channel, you know I like autographs. You know I like through the mail autographs, usually with cards. But did you know I also like balls? I love balls, guys. And in this video, I am going to show you how to get a signed ball returned to you. I'm going to go over the packaging, including the self addressed stamped envelope, as well as shipping cost. All this is a little bit more mysterious than your regular flat rate TTM where you're just putting a stamp on one envelope and a stamp on the other envelope, shoving one inside of the other and sending it off and hoping it comes back. Now, the subject of this autographed ball request, if you remember, a few months back, I made this video of how to get a free baseball from the commissioner, Rob Manfred, signed for the cost of a stamp. Go check that video out and get your own free baseball. You can go ahead and see the link in the description down below. If you want to find out how to do that, if you haven't done that already, you should do that. It's literally the easiest thing you can do, and you should do it because it's awesome. Even if you don't like autographs, you get a pretty cheap ball out of it. Anyway, when I got the ball back, this is what I said. Official Major League ball signed by Rob Manfred. Now, my goal with this baseball is to send it off to the other three previous commissioners of baseball that are still living, Peter Uberoth. Bud Selig and Faye Vincent. And not liking to leave a story unfinished, let's go ahead and send this off to Bud Selig. For the purpose of this video, he is a very reliable signer, so I know I'll get this ball back. Here's a couple cards I found of his. I will put them in this jewel case. Assuming your subject signs multiple items and it's free, why not? You're already paying for the shipping, so you might as well get your money's worth out of it. Now, a disclaimer, send items through the mail for autograph purposes at your own risk. Always assume you're never gonna see it again. There are websites out there that will let you know percentages and how likely you are to get a return, what the costs are. If you wanna know any of the information, I will link up my How I TTM video in the description down below. I will also link both the How to Get a Free Ball and How I TTM videos at the end of this video. So you can just click on them and check them out. If you wanna take the next step, and actually take the plunge and try to get an autograph card or a ball. Those are two good resources, I feel, and could answer a lot of your questions. And there you see my love letter to Bud Selig. It's a pretty long letter. I don't remember what I wrote. You guys can read that if you really want to. So let's talk about the packaging. We are going to get these Duck Poly Bubble ma Mailers. They're waterproof and tear resistant, which is why I selected them. I am going to put the ball and the cards in a bag for extra protection and so they don't travel around too much inside the bag. Not too worried about them getting beat up. After all, it is a baseball. I don't want them scuffed, but I'm also not going to shell out the extra money to ship these in a box because a return box would be pretty hard to do. So we're just going to put these in floppy envelopes so we can fold up the SASE and shove it inside the original packaging. So. There's my letter folded up, going in there next. The cards are in there. The ball, of course, is in there. Fold this up and throw everything in the packaging. And now we got our second envelope. This envelope will be what we send out. Bud Selig put his address right there. Like so. There it is, looks great. Put my address on there, boom. A little bit of tape over both addresses. I like to do this just in case there is some moisture, some water. I don't want the ink to smear. A little bit of tape over there should protect it from the elements. Little tips and tricks, folks. That's why you come to Chris Cards. Now, what I did in this particular case is I took everything down to the post office. I did not seal anything. I took out my SASE, which is what you saw me put all of the items in, and I said, hey, can you please weigh this? This needs to get from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, back to Oregon. She said she waited. She said it was $5 and something cents, and she put the stamps on there. I shoved that envelope back inside the envelope you just see, you just saw me fill out with Bud's name. Sealed that one, gave it back to her. Then she, of course, um, put the postage on that envelope. So that's how I did it. If you want to do this at home by yourself and seal everything up, get yourself some dollar stamps. You're going to want six one dollar stamps that will get you anywhere in the country no matter where you live that will get your item sent back to you and here it is guys you see the exact postage right there i did not put a return label on it as you see by my thumb 
all I had on it was my address, my home address. So came to my home address, was shoved in my mailbox, and here it is, guys, about seven or eight days later. Feels like there's a ball in there. Feels like this was a success. Chances are, if you're watching this on video, it turned out pretty good. Otherwise, I this would really be disappointing. But we know Bud. Bud is old reliable when it comes to signatures. Let's see here. All right, put everything back in the bag for me. There are the cards. I see a signature on the card. I see Manfred's signature on the ball. Let's open up this baggie. Take out the cards, take out the ball. And you saw, guys, fairly simple. Gonna cost you probably about 10, 12, 13 bucks. Rob Manfred, there is my free ball from Mr. Manfred. And there it is, Bud Selig, Hall of Fame 2017 inscription. Awesome. For those of you who already do this, you probably, you know, have your own way of doing it. That's fine. This is the way I do it. More than one ways of doing this. I think this is a fairly effective way of doing it. When I originally thought about sending balls through the mail, I had all these questions too, and those are sort of the ones I wanted to answer in this video. Especially the postage thing, because the postage is obviously a big part of it. Here are the cards. There's the Milwaukee Stadium card from 2019 Tops. His signature is eh. Bud Sealing there throwing out the first pitch at the new Milwaukee Stadium in 2016. I think it was new at the time. I'm not sure. My ball, my free ball now has two. Now has Manfred's and of course former commissioner Bud Sealing's on there. Hall of Famer. Gonna get Peter Uberoth on next and Faye Vincent. I'm halfway through my signed ball. All right, gang, that is it. That is how I TTM baseballs. Hopefully you guys learned something. Uh, right now, since there's no baseball, Rawlings probably has a surplus of balls and you will find some good deals on them. I got mine. I got 20 for uh, nine bucks a pop. So not a bad deal from Amazon. Well, they even come with a nice little ball holder. So that's pretty sweet because these stupid ball holders are a few bucks a pop to begin with so super awesome you guys keep your eyes out for deals i posted on uh, my, the community page yesterday uh one deal that was already expired i'll keep my eyes on other deals so you guys are aware of when these deals go live walmart and amazon both had deals so i'm sure they'll have deals again uh thanks guys for watching hope everyone's having a great day having a great week uh given the circumstances uh thanks for watching and i'll talk to you later